Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. We are at SHOT Show 2024 at the Mepro Light booth, taking a look at a new version of an old optic. You guys have a whole bunch of new red dots, but this is the one that caught my eye. I was hoping you could walk us through it. Yeah, so this is a new Mepro M22, uh, built off the legend of the Mepro M21 that's uh, been in service with the IDF and uh, agencies around the world since 2002. So uh, it was time to uh, use modern technology um, and make a smaller, lighter optic that uh, fits the need. So the original uh, M21, kind of like a follow-on from the like the old school uh, Trigicon Reflex, which is a dual illuminated sight. I think I've seen a lot of like footage of those in use with the IDF. So I imagine it was popular enough that it inspired you guys to make you know kind of a more modernized version because that's that's an optic from the 90s. So dual illuminated. What are the advantages of a dual loom optic? Everything's got batteries now. Uh, the M21 and, and the M22. There is no battery, so it's run off of a tritium and fiber optic technology, uh, which alleviates the, the need for batteries. So heavy recoiling guns, there's no electronics to break inside. Um, in a combat zone that maybe batteries aren't as prevalent, there's no need because it's running off tritium at night and fiber optics during the day. And what's mainly different about the M22 versus the M21? What kind of changes have you guys done to them? So aesthetically, it's significantly smaller than the M21. Uh, M21 had a, a two-bolt QD system um, that took up a, a ton of rail space. So we're able to minimize it using modern uh, manufacturing technologies and, and techniques to go to a, a more simple QD that's very tucked up under the rail. Um, just comparing the size difference, it, it makes a huge difference. Uh, another big difference is we were kind of stuck with an amber reticle. It's just what the technology gave us in the early to late 90s, early 2000s. So now we're able to induce color, uh, and these reticles are in red. So uh, individuals that have stigmatism as well, um, LEDs sometimes are hard to see, where the tritium and fiber optic reticle um, alleviates that issue and, and gives them a reticle that they can see. You guys had a bunch of reticle options in the M21. Are you still doing multiple variations in this one? So this one will come in two reticle options. It'll come with a bullseye as well as a triangle reticle. Uh, just looking at it from a business perspective, sometimes too many just complicates things. So we really simplified it down into what the consumers are purchasing and what the law enforcement and military agencies are wanting to use around the world. So one of the like limiting factors of dual aluminum optics is generally like if you're in a dark environment looking into a bright one, or you're using a, you know a weapon light at close range, you can kind of blow out the reticle with you know your weapon light. Have you guys done anything to mitigate that? It looks like this one's got a bunch more like fiber optic wrap kind of forward facing. Yeah. So great point. Uh, I've been I've been here at Meprolite for three years. Uh, we've been working on this optic for two, and um, I've been on the same boat of hey this watch out thing is a problem. Uh, what I've come to find out, it's just a byproduct of the technology itself. So when you add light to a reticle, you're seeing the reticle no matter what the distant target is. Whereas with this technology, um, it's taking the environmentals from where the, the optic is at at that time. And it does not know that you're looking at um, a bright sky or a white truck in a bright environment, whatever the case is. So uh, we will have a polarizer, which does minimize the washout. Uh, There's some other products coming at the end of summer, probably Q3, uh, to look out for, uh, for those professional users that are going to be using them from a dark to light. What we've seen is about 80 to 85% of individuals that shoot at the range are recreational shooters. They never experience the washout um, because it's very specific. Um, the polarizer kind of covers that next 10% gap, and then that final 5 to the 10% gap will be covered by, the, uh, by Q3. Do you have a price point and availability on these already? Yes, uh, both reticles are available now. Uh, Matt pricing looking at $449. Awesome. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to TFB TV and TFB TV Showtime. Both those channels have all of our SHOT Show coverage. We'll see you guys around.